Book 96 of 2019 was The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. Um, this book is absolutely farcical, like from beginning to end. Um, this was a book club read, um, so it was suggested by people at a book club to read. They, you know, the people that suggested it absolutely loved it. There's quite a few of them that absolutely loved it, and so I was expecting something that was really good. Um, it wasn't. Um, it was very, very repetitive. Um, it felt like, um, it had been kind of heavily translated, so it suffered from that translation from, I think it's Swedish, um, in much the same way, I don't know if you've read um, the Larson series, Go the Dragon Tattoo series, but in that, it's quite similar how it's kind of structured and how it, it's kind of communicated, so I wonder if it is a translation problem. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with it, but in that one there's always there's always reference to Billy Pan Pizza and it's like literally on one page there's about 20 Billy Pan Pizzas um it's kind of very similar to that um <laughs> and it's structured in the way where um what's he called um Jonathan um he, he kind of like says what's about to happen then says what is happening and then talks about what has happened so it's constantly like repeating all the time what's going on and the things that are actually happening are, are just absurd like it, it would never happen in reality it's it's literally just an absurd piece of of uh of fiction um so you can't really relate you can't really kind of like think oh yeah this would happen you know at one point an elephant sits on somebody like and and kills them and it's just like that would never happen like that would never happen in the in the way obviously it does happen i'm sure but in, in the way that it, it's kind of discussed in this book it would it would never happen in that way like at all um and so very very odd absurd always constantly remind you of what's going on like as if you are actually 100 years old and you need to be reminded of what's going on like as if you're in the mind of the character um and i do i kind of like appreciated that um jonathan attempted to weave in kind of some like historical kind of events because this this guy in this book has apparently met absolutely everybody all the kind of historical figures which again absurd absolutely farcical um but i did appreciate that that was kind of alluded to so that you know it would inform other people about who these kind of leaders were um and there was kind of some allusions to philosophy as well because it was like kind of almost like emphasizing living in the now um i appreciated that but honestly like it was just yeah it was just like you know when like people watch things and they're just like really weird and really kind of like absolute nonsense like that's what it was like it was absolute nonsense and i think there is a market for that people enjoy that people like that people find it funny but for me in order for me to find things funny it's got to have an element of truth to it i've got to be able to relate to it and there's nothing in that book that you can actually relate to like there's it's 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 made up nonsense um so obviously if you like that kind of stuff and you, you'll love it but for me personally like it's just not my bag at all so i didn't rate it and i wouldn't be reading anything more from this guy there's another one i think there's there's the book uh, continues to uh what's it called the accidental further adventures of the hundred year old man which i imagine is probably just the exact same thing as this one um so yeah i wouldn't recommend it <laughs>